especially East Asia, feminism is still behind. Like I, I say, like twenty years behind than what America have evolved. Part of me coming to America, being artist, is because if I stay in where I grow up. I cannot get to where I want to be as an artist. One of the work s speaks so much about how I um, learned photography and how I use photography is yeah, thank you for teaching me English. That series is one of the really important photo series I made. And when I came to America, I did not speak any English. And I always asked my friend or people around me, what does it mean? 10 years later, whenever I speak English, I remember the specific word who told me. Then I thought it's interesting. I remember who told me the word and I start listing the word and who told me. Then I had more than 30, so I revisited them and thanked them for teaching me English, this specific word. I took portrait of them saying the word, so that each picture is middle of them, them saying the word. And then um, I framed them, put that plaque, and asked them to write the word they told me. This, um, Art curator and study as uh, she studied for centered in photography. Her name is Michiko Kasahara. She just released a new book. She's like try to shift the conversation, put the highlight on a lot of Japanese female photographer. There's a lot of um, Japanese or female photographer have not get a lot of attention, but they have been. Um, working on very unique way of looking at the world. Then just to name a few like, you know, uh, Miyako Ishiuchi, she's like one of the pioneer of Japanese photographer. And she, as you see, her work is visual. She has very specific aesthetics, but also her work is very conceptual. And I think that's how uh, East Asian female photographer really strong for. Who is new or interesting photographer to me is that uh, Rieko Shiga. Her photography is, you know, she like had the negatives and she recreate the picture after she shoot in the process of developing. So controlling image, not only shooting, but uh, creating image after shooting became her important process. We ever had Ale Bure Boke, which is, you know, rough, blurry, and unfocused. That was somehow became the new standard. So taking picture more emotional than light. When I think about the onna no kono shashin, it always well, typically yeah that breaks through like male taking picture of female and girls start taking picture of themselves in very fashion photography manner. One of my issue is the boom trend was created by men. <laughs> that was the only issue I have. If, if that was initiated by female producer, that was more empowering. Prequel is like a photo booth and you can make a sticker. When I was like junior high teenager, we just hung out to go to Prequel and that gave us self-awareness how we look. Another popular culture in Japan, and it really always kind of make me upset, but this um, Grabia Shashin, it's like a basically Playboy magazine, like men taking picture of young girl wearing um, bathing suits. And Grabia Shashin, those photo books is one of the most uh, sellable photo books in Japan. Yeah, I, I always wonder who 
really is the audience in Japan.